Diablo's Den has been the setting for pretty much every Tall Tale campfire story in Fall Creek Valley. Hey! Oh. What are you doing back there? I'm doing a documentary on Diablo's Den for school. Who's up there? What's going on? We wanted to see if you guys want to go up to Diablo's Den bonfire tonight. Anybody that has lived in Fall Creek Valley long enough has heard the tales of what went on up there over the years. That Fall Creek Valley is being haunted by an evil demonic spirit known as Bloody Bobby. Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My next review is called Black Pumpkin in 2018. Here's the storyline. On October 31st, two preteens in a small town accidentally awakens an evil that has lain dormant for decades. They are forced to survive through a terrifying Halloween night at a cat and mouse from the monster known as Bloody Bobby. Directed by Ryan McGonagall, written by Ryan McGonagall, Here's the cast. Ellie Patrickios as Laurie. Gemma Brooke Allen as Reagan Peterson. Dogan Eiler as Elliot Peterson. Alex Lane as Ashley. Lily Keene as Maria. Matt Reif as Flash. Connor Wheel as Ace. Grayson Thorne Kilpatrick as Porkchop Lawrence Chubbs. Joe Osman as Bloody Bobby. And Jordan Lucas as Brittany Cooper. And the cast goes on. Now, these are the movies that is a reason why I said before that I got involved in creating a podcast 11 years ago on films just like this. No big budget, maybe a medium budget or medium low budget. So watching this film, you know what you're getting yourself into. But boy, oh boy, I'd love the storyline in this movie. Bloody Bobby, a folk tale about this boy who goes kidnapped and then he comes back as this killer. Two characters in this film, two preteen boys, Elliot and Porkchop. They were doing this project for school about Diablo's Den. Bloody Bobby, which they didn't know that at first. So they went into the into the area and they put voodoo dolls and they stapled it to the uh, trees, um, and it kind of like apparently it must have woken Bloody Bobby, and then all hell broke loose. Now, mind you, this is a medium budget, low budget film, so they're, you're not, it's not going to have that it's fantastic special effects, but you don't fucking need it. If there's a good story behind this, it carries. Bloody Bobby character is awesome kind of reminds me of that trick-or-treat movie back in the day um back in 2008 or something but not the same style of makeup whatever but it's what kind of reminds me of so basically these kids are being everyone's being terrorized by bloody bobby um i don't want to say too much i mean you know it's been out for a while but i don't want to you know ruin it for anybody else who have not seen it but there is this is the first part of a of a series there's a new one that came out this year 2021 um it's hooks up to this one the legend of fall creek so watch this one first and then watch legend of fall creek i haven't seen it yet but that review is coming soon they're linked um 
basically this is the re the birth of a horror character of independent films if that makes sense it might sound like I'm rambling on here but shot very well the cast of characters was cool you got your typical asshole character you got your typical you know teenage stuff but they all end their demise at the end of this movie kind of shocked me I love that twist I'll say no more than that again shot very well great cast of characters a great storyline and the Bloody Bobby character is pretty cool so definitely check it out I know that you guys will love it Black Pumpkin in 2018 this is Gruesome Herzog I give this film an 8 out of 10 I really enjoyed it and I'm kind of anxious to see now The Legend of Fall Creek that's coming up soon. This is Gruesome Herzog.